look cool in the moon looks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo! Unboxing video! Vinyl! Haven't had one of these in a minute because they're too expensive and I've been rolled. So, yeah, that's the reason why I haven't been copping these as much because, yeah, vinyls are just an expensive hobby collection to have. Like, anywhere from like $30 to freaking 50 60 80 you're getting collectible ones it goes into the hundreds it's like insane bro and today i got so lucky i was gonna order this one right when it released because it's one of my favorite artists of all time it's his first solo project ever so i was like so hyped about it but you know i ended up waiting because i was broke and then i it went on sale and then it even went on markdown or it went on markdown and i was like oh no my god i need to get it i need to get it for before it sells out and it hasn't sold out. I guess, like, people slack on Urban Outfitters. Not many, like, rap head. Like, it's probably more younger audience that are on Urban Outfitters, I feel like. But they actually have fire shit when you, like, if you look for it. But it's, like, mixed among so much junk because it's, like, such so many low-quality products, so much shit. Then they had a 40% off sale, so I got a $20 plus, or it was, like, yeah, I think it was, like, $20 plus 20, 40% off. Or, no, it came to 20 It was $30. It was on sale for like 30 30 something and then 40 percent off so it was like 20 dollars like with shipping and everything probably only like 20 25 dollars for a vinyl you can't go wrong especially for a limited edition one i think there's only a thousand copies for like your favorite artist of all time i thought i was gonna be paying like 50 to 100 for this thing if i would have ordered it right away from the states on the like from america i think it would have been like 100 bucks or some shit like okay i'm gonna go cut this open it needs to be cut Oh, so, 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 so lucky I could get this deal. Let's unbox it. One of my, like, I love this album, too, so I'm so hyped about it. I was so scared about it selling out. <laughs> Michi Darko. Oh, and I knew it was going to be a fire, just, like, all-around vinyl, like, design, quality, aesthetic, art, all that stuff, because the Flappa Zombie vinyls are always amazing. I think... Meech has a lot to do with the merch, and their merch is insanely quality, so I knew this was going to be so sick. Urban Outfitters exclusive, limited edition, Fog Vinyl, the debut, al the debut album from Michi Darko from Flatbush Zombies! And I listened to this right when it came out, when he did the list, uh, when he did the listening party, uh, watched the live stream on YouTube. Super flyers, and I love, so I love this album already. Except I haven't listened to it as much, because the YouTube algorithm just doesn't recommend it as much which sucks, but all the songs are so fire. I had some of them on repeat for a while, like Black Magic, Proud of You. Some of these I had on repeat for a while when they came out. So it's gonna be nice to just refresh, listen to the full thing over and over and over until I get sick of it. That's how it goes with the vinyls, the music life, Gothic Luxury, a 13 track album. I don't think there's any extras on this. That would have been dope if there's an extra on the limited. 2022. Dirk Cobain, I guess he's got his own record label for this that he released it under too. I think it's a division of, what's Jay-Z's company? I forget, is it on here? Oh no, he did to Loma Vista recordings. I don't know who that is. I thought he signed to like, I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick preview of this in the sunlight and then I'm gonna open it fully, so. Boop, 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 boop. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dark. So fire. Yes. Okay. I am so excited. Just shot a little preview of the package. Sealed now. 
Let's undead stalk this. Are you ready, Maya? Yeah! It's hot out. It's getting hot in here, this apartment. It's so hot. Meaty Darko. Gothic luxury! Vinyl limited edition. Fog vinyl. I think it did a couple different. There was like a plain black fog, and then I think there was one other color. Oh, I love this like pop out de decal kind of design. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Decal. Beautiful decal. Flatbush Zombies always got that fire, fire stuff. So he's got the zombie necklace on. I love the pop-up decal to make it like this 3D, bring it to life, angel and demon, gothic luxury. Ooh, this marble block he's sitting on, this white and black aesthetic, the spider dyed hair, spider tattoo, white eye uh, contacts, all the aesthetics. He's got it, he's trimmed up. It's beauty, he's classic black jeans, shirtless, Michi Darko. From the Flatbush Zombies, you can't go wrong with it. Gothic luxury, you know what it is. These are the men who will bring you a show and bring you quality content. They are the mysterious, the magical, the, what am I trying to say? Darko, the dark one. Yes, he's got the hard bars, those good, good choruses you know he's the man he can freestyle he can do it he's a very very hardcore well-known in the industry rapper he's got lots of respect from all big heads in the rap game because they know he's got those bars and those lines for those choruses and those fire fire you know fire did i get a notification he's got those a nice deep raspy voice he's got it all you know what i'm saying lots of respect for him this is unfortunately not one that you can fold open it is i think it's a two times lp isn't it or is it just a one times lp yeah it's just a one it's just an album i don't they didn't really say the lp on it it's two lps though it's two records and oh i get a poster of his nice titty the chain he's got some like scars going on on his chest Okay, so we got like a dark kind of mystique, ghouly, ghosty Michi Darko on this side with some like hair. I don't know if that's like a lady laying on him or something. And then we got like this Jesus Michi Darko, the black Jesus himself resurrected from the dead. He's always talking about like the debt, like the ego death and all of that fun stuff. He's a very trippy guy, lots into the psychedelics and that fun world. Ooh, hoo, hoo. and we pull it out. Here's our two LPs, two time LP. This beautiful black kind of like matte interior. That's sick too. More black Jesus designs. And then we got a track list on the other side of the records. And then we'll pull one of these out. Oh, this is like white. This isn't fog. I thought it was gonna be like brown fog. This is like white. This is like smoke, not fog. This is like actually, I thought it was gonna be like brown like that way kind of thing but this is like whoa translucent loma vista recording i don't know what company that is dang this is the first the first one oh yeah lavish habits that's the track i had on repeat too so we got the first is this a hair no we got the first record right here the first lp i don't know if there's a download was there a i didn't check is there a download card in here? No, it didn't come with any digital download. Come on, Michi, gotta come with the physical or like an instrumental, that would've been sick too. Rap on some, oh, and it's the same thing. It's very white smoky. Got some dirt going on there from the print, I guess. Ooh, side C and, oh, I see. It's only three sides. There's no side D. That kind of sucks, but oh well. It's nicer not to have to flip it as often, so I don't really care. <laughs> so fire. I love the matte interior. I love like the quality sheets. Very heavy duty paper. Beautiful, beautiful. I have to see. I got a message, so I got to check that. And then we're going to test these out. So yes, I'm so excited to listen to this. We're going to pop it into the record player right over here see you can see i already got my flop of the zombies one out i was listening to that before last because that's like the display that's my record box check out that video it's a fire video 
record box. I had to build it myself, but it was it's so, so fire, so quality. Got all my records in here. Beautiful, beautiful. And then my record player right there. So yeah, we're gonna test these out. Let's go, let's go. Record number one with the track list. Ooh. Come on. Produced by Denzel Curry. That's random. That's one of the that's the one I had on repeat. I didn't know Denzel Curry was just a producer. I didn't even know they were friends. But see, like, Michi just knows everyone. Where are those Eric Eric uh where's that Eric production? Did he even produce any of this? Okay. Oh, it's Film grain. Maybe I shot the film. Oops. <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, Michi Darko. Let's get it. Let's go. The one. The man, one of three, the Flatbush Zombies, Michi Darko, the dark one of them all. What's the first song? Cursed. Well, that's the second song, but after the, the intro. <laughs> Let's go. Why is it scratching so much? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Michi Darko. This is the hardest. This is probably one of my hardest records, yeah. There he is, Darko. 
Bart? Oh, you stink, Maya.